Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back in, baby. The girls are fighting. The reunion is over, and the mess is still going on. So listen, Chris and Nikki, you know, they had a little one-two on Twitter. Um, Giselle and Dr. Wendy. It's Dr. Wendy, sweetie. Uh, they had a little back and forth. Well, not a back and forth. Um... They just were responded. Uh, Chris responded to Nikki and uh, Wendy responded to Giselle. I don't think it was really a back and forth. So listen, this is what it comes down to. Those who um, have not watched the reunion, uh, there was a part in the reunion where Chris, which is Candace's husband, um, Mia had to go to the ladies' room. And so they took a quick break and... Um, Chris, you know, came on set uh, and he was having a conversation with Candace. I guess Candace could tell that he was visibly upset because I think she asked him, are you okay? What's wrong? And he said that he didn't like the line of questioning that was coming from Nikki. Nikki hosted the last part of the reunion. Nicki Minaj hosted the last part of the reunion. Um, I feel like, I, I don't know why I feel like I have to go through this. Y'all, I'm thinking y'all already know this anyways, because we're not going through all that. Y'all already know what happened. So... And who hosted the reunion? So, I guess once Nikki saw the show, she saw that Chris was having a conversation with Candace, his wife, about not liking the line of questioning. Candace was okay. You heard her say, it's cool, I'm good, there's nothing wrong. She basically being shady to everybody. Now... In my honest opinion, I think there was a reason. If you if you go back and you look at the order of how she went, she went to Ashley first. Then I think it was Robin. She skipped over Candace, went to Giselle. Then I think she went to Mia. Did she go Wendy, Karen, or Karen, Wendy? But nonetheless, Candace was the very last one. And I think that was intentionally done. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop acting like, like Candace ain't the reason why this show go round and round. I don't know how, especially for season six, because Miss Thing really ain't even did nothing until, se until episode 12. <laughs> Girl, we was almost done. And she was trending. <laughs> Girl, because your mama? Okay. Um, so I felt like that was intentionally done for Candace to go last. I think that w Nikki gave a pass to Karen um, out of everybody. I don't even think she was really too hard on Robin, you know? Um, but Mia kind of got a, a little bit of it, you know, as far as Nikki questioning her answers. Like, girl, what? Okay, girl, you know, you sound crazy. Um... Nikki brought up the booty models with Wendy. Um, Ashley not having a storyline. Giselle, she talked about Giselle. Basically, your beauty is starting to fade, you know. So, girl, she was on a level. Because when you start talking about a woman's beauty fading, you know, and she did it as tactful as she could, that could come across as a tad bit disrespectful, right? Because nobody, especially women, you don't want to talk about a woman, her beauty fading, or, you know, you're not looking the same that you did a couple of years ago, Miss Thing, right? So with Candace, Nikki wrote a tweet, and this is what the tweet said. Candy girl husband really need to sit his ass down, child, L-M- L-M-F-A-O. And then Chris responded and said, I don't need to do nothing but support my wife. The reason why I don't think that Chris is wrong in this situation is because. The first thing is this. When Chris went up to Candace and had that private, even though I know they were mic'd in camera, so it's not private, but it was a conversation between him and his wife. Chris didn't say anything disrespectful about Nicki Minaj. 
He wasn't running around the building, beating on walls and trying to get to Nikki and her crew and going up to Andy and going up to the producers. What is this? What's going on? It wasn't none of that. That was a private, as private as it could be with the cameras, I know, conversation between him and Candace about him not liking the line of questioning. I do think that Nicki Minaj was being extra shady and borderline disrespectful to Candace. And I'm going to tell you why. When you think, when you look at what Nicki was asking Candace about her numbers, as far as like how much, like, girl, how many records you sold, <laughs> right? Shout out to Kaya. Um, what's that, Kaya? But anyway, so when she was asking her about her numbers, um, kind of looking like, so how many you sold? Tw oh, okay. Oh. It was almost on that line of disrespect because I can guarantee you, and I don't want to hear nothing about Nicki being Nicki Minaj. If somebody disrespected Nicki like that, I remember Nicki acting a goddamn fool a year or two ago when that whole Travis Scott stuff happened and that was talking about people, I guess, putting CD. I don't know. Remember that mess happened with her? And she was calling out Billboard or something like that. So clearly, Nikki is very sensitive when it comes to her numbers, right? So I would expect that someone who has been in the game as long as, as Nicki Minaj would have an understanding of how it feels for people not to, or people to try and disrespect what you've done. Those questions were past shady, in my opinion, right? I think that's what Chris meant by I don't like the line of questioning. Like she questioning you about your numbers, your album sales, your singles. Then when you tell her the number and when you tell her where you're charting, it's like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> now don't get it twisted. Nikki is very animated from what I can see. I was laughing at how animated she is, right? But I still think that it was a tad bit disrespectful. And then when you factor in them putting Candace on the spot to sing. Now, at some point in the reunion, they all got pissed off at Candace. And I got, I'm not going to say they all got pissed off. It was a problem with Candace chiming in, which it was a problem with me too, with her chiming in on other people. But now it's Candace's turn and everybody wants to chime in. Sing, sing, sing your song, sing your song. So it did feel almost like a setup to me. Again, she's the last one to go. You done literally skipped over everybody and went on the other side of the couch. Come back to her. You're questioning her numbers as though she's telling you a bold face lie. Then you want her want her to sing in front of these women who you know don't too much care for her, right? And I don't think that that was Nikki's Nikki was coming from a place of, I want to show this woman some support. I want to give this woman a stage. Candace doesn't need for Nikki to give her a stage. Because if Nikki was at the reunion or not, she would still be on that same stage. I think that Nikki didn't think that Candace would sound the way that she sounded. Now, don't get it twisted. Candace ain't no Kiki Wyatt, right? But she is, she can sing. She ain't no Whitney Houston, right? But she can sing. I don't think that they thought that Candace would sound that way. So when Candace, when they asked Candace to sing, I think that Nikki was thinking, this bitch is about to look like a fool. And I think it shocked a lot of people that she did sound the way that she sounded, right? I think Nikki was, of course, being shady because that was the, that's the name of the game. But I do think it was it was taken to a different level with Candace, right? And I think that's why Chris was upset because y'all trying to play my wife in front of my face. That's what I think. And then you're trying to play her in front of a group of women who we know don't care for her. Again, I think that once you factor in all those things about the order of how the women went as far as questioning. And then the last person to go is Candace. And it's not like you're, you're being shady. But it's like I said, it's a, it, that's the name of the game. But girl, you're, this, this is on a whole different level. Again, I would think that Nikki would understand being an artist that, okay, girl, 
this is how the game goes. Oh, for your first record, because let's just be honest. I think that Jasmine Sullivan's last album, the uh, reality TV album, I think the album did like 30,000 the first week. I think Fantasia, last album, Sketchbook, I think the album did ten or 15,000 copies the first week. So for Candace to do 20,000 copies of her first album, I think that's all pretty much excellent. And she ain't nowhere near as far as when you compare it to like the Fantasias and Jasmine Sullivan's out there like them. Now, when you look at it, when you compare it to like Adele who sell a million copies in one week, no. But when you think about the other R&B girls, I think that's more than decent. Um, But yeah, that's what I have to say about that. You know, like I said, I know Nikki was doing her job. Nikki was being shady, but I do think that it was taken that she took that extra step when it came to Candace. And I definitely understand why Chris was upset with the line of questioning. Um, now, Giselle and Wendy, we ain't heard from Giselle this whole season on Twitter. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, Giselle wants to come out. And this is how I know, like I said, the girls, they know what they're doing. The season is over. Giselle comes out of the bushes to get back on Twitter. So now, girl, you're basically trying to start this beef with Wendy so it can go into season seven. Okay, girl, I don't know, I already clocked it, okay? So Wendy said, I mean, so Nikki Minaj says, okay, so while we on commercial, um, I got this from All True Tea. Okay, so while we on commercial, it was beyond corny for Wendy to look at my cars on the low. I'm that chick that leaves my money, jewelry, et cetera, out around people because I because I trust everyone is like me and won't violate. Girl, first of all, girl, stop comparing Wendy to somebody who may steal some money, jewelry. <laughs> You're like, girl, I leave my stuff around and here she go looking at some cards. Was it corny? Yes. Was it whack? Absolutely. But I also think, I think I said this in my last episode, in my last, in, in my review, that the stress level, in my opinion, went completely down when Nicki Minaj came out. Clearly, those ladies have a job to do, and they are trying to impress Andy as much as they can, right? Because more than likely, a few of them want to come back for set, season seven. So let me do my job. Nikki ain't the boss. Andy is the boss. So while it was whack and corny for Wendy to look at those cards, <laughs> it's just whack and corny. I'm not going to go into this whole thing of it being disrespectful to Nicki Minaj and that's a black woman you disrespect. You ain't going to disrespect Andy. Andy is her fucking boss, right? And for what I understand, they say Ramona done looked at the cards before. <laughs> so Giselle responds and says, and no one has ever or would ever look at Andy cards. So why that? So why do that to at Nicki Minaj? Hashtag disrespect. Again, Nicki ain't nobody's boss on that set. Well, some, probably the people who came came with her. But Nicki is not Candace's boss, not Giselle's, not Wendy's, not Robin's, not Ashley, none of them. So again, if you even look at the reunion, you can tell that when Nikki came out, those girls went from like sitting up straight to, oh, okay, girl. And it really seemed like a conversation amongst girlfriends. So Wendy responds and says, you are so bothered. You don't tweet all season. She don't. But dust your little Twitter, <laughs> Twitter, Twitter fingers off for a little old me. Go to sleep, turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Go to sleep, turkey neck. The season is over. Hashtag R-H-O-P. I'm with Wendy. Girl, you ain't said nothing all season. All of a sudden, I'm with Wendy and Nikki. It was corny and whack for, for, for Wendy to look at those cards, right? But it's also corny and whack for Giselle to be silent on Twitter this whole season then you come out on the last day of the reunion to pipe in, to chime in. Girl, hush. 
Girl, she said turkey neck. Ooh. <laughs> Girl, y'all go. <laughs> is that going below the belt? Is that doing too much? Is, you, is, 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 is Wendy going too low? Giselle should have kept her fucking mouth closed. <laughs> okay. All right, that's pretty much all I got to say. You know, like I said, y'all try to hype up Chris like he husband of the, like he the number one husband in the world. He's not, but in this situation, I do believe that Chris was Chris wasn't wrong. Like I said, he didn't disrespect Nikki. He didn't disrespect anyone in the building. He was having a conversation with Candace about the line of questioning. I don't blame him. Candace took it a little too. She took it a step. I mean, not Candace. Wendy, I mean, Nikki took it that step. Like, okay, girl, you low key being disrespectful. And you're disrespecting my wife, right? Anybody should will feel that way. Well, I don't know about y'all husbands, okay? Um, but yeah, so that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm about to go and get in these streets. Bye, y'all. And one more thing that I wanted to mention. The simple fact that, that Nicki Minaj tweeted, Candy Girl Husband really need to sit his ass down. The Candy Girl Husband, that was a disrespect of it all. Like, let's just be honest, y'all. If somebody referred to Nicki Minaj's husband as Mr. Minaj or whatever her, what's, what's her, Mirage, is that her last, real last name, Mirage, or Mr. Mr. Nicki uh, Minaj or whatever, girl, the girls would have a fit. They would then know what disrespect, we're not going to play this game, like, girl, you know this woman's husband, right? And you calling him candy girl husband, is low key a slap in the face, kind of like, girl, he's a nobody, Right? But if we saw Colin Kenneth, Mr. Nikki, or uh, Mr. or uh, Mr. Minaj, then all of a sudden, girl, it's disrespectful. I saw people talking about Nikki got uh Chris, don't forget Nikki got a husband. Bitch, don't you forget Chris? I mean Candace got a husband. Girl, here he go. I heard your bitch was looking for me. Well, here I go. Hello? The fuck? Everybody got a husband. <laughs> girl well not everybody but you know anyways that's all I wanted to say alright y'all I'm gone bye